Good day guys, this is Jack in Action and this week in games, John Connor's worst nightmare, Starship Troopers in VR, Batman saves the day again, probably, now you're thinking with portals, endless spaces indeed, endless, and fire emblem. Echoes. Of shadows. Of Valentia. Alright, so on Tuesday the 16th of May, we have The Surge coming out on console and PC. This follows the story of Warren on his first day of work, where everyone goes magic crazy, from robots to other augmented workers, and they're all trying to kill him. It's my first day! To <laughs> save the day, you don an exoskeleton suit to improvise your way out of there. It's non-linear, and you're allowed to figure stuff out on your own, with dark souls like combat, looking for tells for enemies, and bosses that can destroy you in a hub. On Wednesday the 17th, we have Farpoint, it's a PlayStation VR exclusive. You are stuck on an alien planet, separated from your colleagues, and must fight alien bugs to reunite with them and get the hell back to Earth. Despite the relatively small 4 hour campaign, the game will come with a separate co-op mode and an online leaderboard to challenge your friends. This game is recommended to be played with the AIM controller, but the devs have assured that the monetarily challenged can still enjoy yourselves with the DualShock 4. Also coming out on Wednesday, we have Injustice 2 coming out for the console. In this series, sequel to the massively successful original, you can fight as a huge array of characters from the DC roster, build and upgrade your gear, join guilds for good or dominance, play on mobile, even unlocking gear for the console in the process, and of course, do ridiculous finishes. Coming up on Thursday the 18th, we have Portal Fights. Coming out on all the things, this sandbox RPG. Okay, let's get it out of the way. This thing has a huge Minecraft vibe, but with the addition of classes and a story goal of destroying portal guardians with the option of co-op play, it seems more of a tip of the hat than a ripoff. And if the humor in the trailer is anything to go by, this game looks like it'll be a ton of fun. Oh, uh, you're going with that hat, are you? No, nope. no, you look great. Just great. On Friday the 19th, we have Endless Space 2. Just like the original, you lead your people into space with seemingly endless things to do. You build a galaxy unique to your playthrough, and in it, you can court your allies or blast them to hell from space or on the ground floor. Each civilization will have its own strengths, weaknesses, and specific quests, meaning that replayability is an almost certain guarantee. And on Saturday, we have Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valentia, which was the echo of. Is the shadow of an echo? Is the echo of the shadow? Is it Valentia an echo or a shadow? Like, just pick one. Pick one! We know the drill by now with these games, but what a magnificent drill it is, and with some slight twists. Based on the second game of the series, Fire Emblem Gaiden, there are grid-based battles, free roaming, character progression, and new 3D dungeons, beautifully coloured cinematics, and all the character classes your little adventuring heart could wish for. And quite possibly the best thing to enter the game ever, a clock that can rewind time. You can only use it once per battle, but hit that thing and you rewind a turn, bringing a beloved ally back. Which to me, I'm just... Look, I can't tell you how scarred I was uh, when I first lost my first pal. Like, it's too much. I just... And if that wasn't enough, if you like the money rabbit hole that is Amiibo, the ones connected to this game will grant you an exclusive dungeon. Nice! And that's it for this week in games, ladies and gentlemen. Did I miss anything? Is there anything you're really looking forward to? Be sure to drop a comment and let me know. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed yourself, and I will see you guys on the internet. Sick Jack in Action, out!